This is my uh, sambal prawn and chili with egg noodles. And um, I've made it before, but there's no real recipe. I sort of change it up every time. Um, basically, some uh, uncooked frozen prawns, some chopped onion, fresh basil and parsley, um, some magic powder, kind of part of the secret recipe. And um, this is sambal crab paste and tons of extra chili. So basically all I do is try and bring it all together fairly quickly. So the noodles don't take very long, so what I usually do is uh, throw the sambal paste on top of some oil. I'm going to use uh, some grapeseed oil, grapeseed oil, and Not too much because the uh, crab sambal has already got a fair bit of oil in it. Um, and I'll saute the onions really quickly. Throw the crabs on top, uh, not crabs this time, prawns, sorry. Give it a little bit of a stir. Um, magic powder, which is from what I can imagine, probably mostly cornstarch. And the chili powder. And this will all come together pretty quickly. take a few minutes
the noodles a little bit of a stir. Just to add a little bit of sour to the sauce mix, um, I like to add a little bit of lime. Mmm, all right, probably a quarter of a lime is enough. These are really juicy limes. Half a lime. A little bit more of a stir. All right. to ready. Mm. <coughs> Smells amazing. All right, time to drain the noodles. about I guess nearly two cups of noodles then just combine everything It's really important to not to overcook the prawns so make sure that they've cooked of course they'll you can see that they've cooked they're soft they've gone a nice pinky color all right and I turn off the heat turn off everything and get ready to plate up Mm. Oh my god, yeah, the sauce is amazing. A little sweet, very uh, spicy, a slight fishy flavor with the uh, the prawn, uh, sorry, the crab sambal. Uh, 
plate it up. And that is pretty much it. tricky getting it out of the pot and not making a huge mess. Watch me make a huge mess. Okay, there's enough there for leftovers. And one more prawn, a bit more noodles. Okay, you take the leftovers off the off the hot plate so it doesn't overcook. Clean up the plate. Add the chopped parsley. Actually, I might just chop the parsley a little bit more. Still a little bit too coarse. Parsley and basil. Um, you can use pretty much any green herbs, as long as it's fresh. I literally cooked, picked this out of the garden about 15 minutes ago. And I watered the herbs earlier today, so you don't need to wash it. Just pick it straight out of the garden with a pair of scissors. Is it voila and that will be absolutely delicious.